in this video, we're going to do the Khan Academy Challenge Tasty Tomato, and we're going to do the Khan Academy Challenge Mouse Movement Mania. So we're going to start with this one right here, and it says that before we begin, uh, before we make this program uh, respond to mouse interaction, let's make a little change. So there's this bite out of the apple here, and they want us to make it bigger. So we're going to go down here, bite out of the out of the. Oh, I, did I call it an apple? It says tomato. That makes me think it's an apple. Okay, it's a tomato. So we're going to do, we need to make it bigger than 30. I'm just going to pick a 72 and 72. All right, so my bite out of my tomato is, is bigger here. So next step. All right, so now um, we want to be able to eat the whole apple, and we're going to be able to use the draw function and our mouse movements to do that. So um, we need to uh, make a function, a draw function, and put our mouse movements inside of that here. So um, let's look at this. Remember, they get, always give you this hint up here. So we needed to do, make create a draw function and then put all of this code inside of the function. So I'm just going to come right here and hit enter and give myself some space. And I'm going to type draw equals, and then it Khan Academy auto populates function parentheses the curly brackets and my semicolon so all I have to do is select this text here and then drag it up into here and uh, that's that's basically it now I have a uh, now I have that inside of uh, my draw function there and so that that looks pretty good and I can go to the next step here and it says now to make it so that we can make more bytes when we move the mouse, we need to change the X and Y coordinates of the byte to be based on mouse X and mouse Y instead. So right now, the this ellipse right here is this guy. This ellipse here is controlled by these two numbers, okay? But what I want them to do is I want them to be controlled by where I put my mouse. So I can use mouse x and mouse y and wherever the the coordinates that I move my mouse if I put it right up at the top here then it's just going to be like you know one or two of each of them but if I move it all the way down here it's going to be you know like 300 300 or something like that I think those numbers are right maybe they're wrong but basically wherever I move my mouse that's where it's going to draw this ellipse. And the ellipse itself is white. If we click over here, you can see that's a white ellipse. Wherever I move it, it looks like now I'm eating the tomato. And I've eaten the whole tomato. So that is that one. And then we're going to do the same thing with this guy over here. Well, not the same thing, but we're going to use the mouse X and mouse Y. So it says that this program paints colorful shapes on the screen wherever the user mouse moves and we're going to change it up. So they want us to change the fill function call so that the circles become a different color. Okay, so fill right here. So um, let's see, right now this is what it gives me. Wherever I move my mouse, I'm using this draw function. The, the ellipse is being drawn by X and Y. Uh, mouse X and Y. So wherever I move it, it's making a 10 by 10 ellipse on the screen and I want to change it up so remember when you move your mouse it's just giving you a variable it's just giving you a number wherever you move it so even though um, the number the number that you move your mouse is is a uh, is based on the movement the physical movement I can still take that number and put it into this uh, fill colors here and so I'm gonna do stew mouse why and um, let's 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 leave that for zero for now. Let's see how see what happens. So, hey, look at that! I got some greens, and yellows. Now that's pretty slick right there. All right, cool. So now it says now change the ellipse function. So it says ellipse function call. So this right here is the ellipse function call, and. So we can make them different sizes. So I could come in here if I make this 50. Now it's going to be a funny shape. See how it's all wide? What else I could do is I could make this be mouse 
x. And now, if I move it to the right, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The more I move it to the right, the more I move it to the left, it gets smaller and smaller. So that is, that's what that does. And did I finish everything? One, one more step here. Now add a stroke color so they want, so I can add lines around the outside of my shape. So I need to delete the no stroke. I need to come in here and I need to do stroke. And I want to, I'll leave the 255 there, but I'm going to make this mouse Y. So now I have a colored ring around the outside of my shape. So that's pretty sweet. All right. All done.